Hey everyone, this would be like day 12 for those that are still doing the cleanse. I have mine right here. I am uh, eating and doing this. So if you are eating, one of these every day will help keep the doctor away. So I have a tip for the day and it is the fountain of youth. People have been searching for it forever, and they're always at a fountain, right? The fountain of youth. But we never really hear where it is, just that they're looking for it. Because like everything, we're trained to look outside ourselves to find whatever it is we're looking for, right? When it actually lives within us. Everything is in the external world is an expression from the internal world. And this is one of the reasons that the heart is the healer of the body. So, how many of you heard of the thymus gland and the thymus thump, right? The thymus is the fountain of youth. It produces chemicals that gives you quantum energy. But from birth, to death, it shrinks a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, and you start to lose your energy over time. Now, this is what it looks like. It's right there, right? That pink right there. You notice it has a left side and a right side. Just like your body has a left side and a right side. So they're independent of each other. You could have a thymus issue on one side of your body and not have it on the other side. And so when material or matter shrinks like this and it gets hard, the best way for me to maybe just to explain that or show you is with a sponge. The sponge is hard. And why is it hard? No hydration. Thymus is having trouble, and many areas in the body is having trouble because it's not just the thymus, everything is connected, right? So if the thymus is shrinking, it's becoming dehydrated, just like this sponge. And what we are doing, turn the same around, I don't know what the hell was in there. Plantain, I guess. Uh, and we constantly put proper hydration into our body, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to happen to this sponge. It's going to swell and get soft, where before it wouldn't do that. It won't do it this quickly. It can, but as you can see, this is now a hydrated sponge and if this is the thymus or any area in the body that's dehydrated as you are drinking live liquids it's going to start to rehydrate that and it's going to swell it's going to go back to its normal size and through meditation hydration live foods that is what's building your energy back. And it's right there by the heart. And that's why we do a lot of meditations that involve the heart and that involve the energy centers in the body, getting them into alignment. That alignment goes right down through. And the thymus is what, bam, it expands that energy. It's so incredible to see and feel that energy grow in our body and how incredible it feels. It's energy. It's the fountain of youth. The thymus is the fountain of youth. And the water that they're at when they're always at the fountain is what rehydrates it and gets it working again. But as we get more and more dehydrated, it turns into a hard sponge. This one right here 
I do, I'll get a different one. This one's still got a little flexibility in it, but it has hard edges on it. So as your body is becoming dehydrated, well, there's less and less moisture, just like this, and the edges on this are hard. Same thing's going on in, with, the, with the cells and the, in your physical being. It could be your liver. It, it could be your pancreas. It could be your thymus. But the thymus is the fountain of youth. So part of what we're doing in the cleanse, which we're going to be starting again soon, is to help all these areas rehydrate and open. And to do that, we need to turn off the sympathetic and turn on the parasympathetic. So the and that's all part of the autonomic nervous system. So when you're in fight or flight, the sympathetic's on. When you're on rest, digest, and heal, parasympathetic is on. And you control that. You haven't been told that you can control that, but you control it. And that's the most important part, is that you are your own, I guess you want to call it doctor, healer, whatever it is, but it's, it's yours. You have that innate ability inside you. So part of doing the cleanse, like I said, the cleanse is just a, a vehicle to explore and discover different things about our body that we're having issues with. And it will take you emotionally to that point that is holding you back. And it will make you stare at it. And you will feel it more intensely than ever, especially during this lockdown. That's part of what this lockdown is about. It's about us discovering who we are, increasing our energy through the thymus. And up here is your thyroid and your parathyroid is up there also. But the thymus and the heart work together. And when you have a broken heart, it puts stress, fear. It makes everything shrink. And through this and through conversation, like we have in the amazing group that we have with the amazing people that are in it and new people coming in all the time to learn, they're not here by accident. They know something is off, and they don't know what it is, and they're looking. They're exploring. And they may not be at the same place in life that we are, so it's good to have patience as they learn, because they're running on old programs. And they're trying to update them, but the more connected electromagnetically they are to the old belief, the, the more difficult it is for them to make that shift. So I just wanted to put this out, this tip of the day. I'm going to start doing these every once in a while. Uh, I have some others I'm going to do. But remember, your thymus is the fountain of youth and hydration and proper thought through the temples, right? These are the temples of knowledge right here. And they only know, your, your mind or your brain only knows what is told. And it's been lied to for so long. And we've lived in so much fantasy that we have forgotten. And it's time to take our power back, rehydrate our bodies, get that thymus activated, and create a life that we could never imagine. And that's probably gonna be the next tip of the day is how to create and recreate the life you wanna live. So till then, I'll see you in the next tip of the day video. Hope you're having an awesome one. Keep hydrating. Open up that heart, get that thymus. Bam, the fountain of youth, baby. It's endless energy. All right, see you then. See you in the next one.